Hey there. Are you one of those people that keeps everything in TickTick? TickTick is kind of like your central system for your life. And do you happen to keep a daily journal? You know, what's happened throughout the day, maybe things you're grateful for, you know, a little bit of a gratitude journal, something like that. And you've been trying to think about how you can integrate your daily journal into TickTick. Well, I've thought about this a little bit over the last few weeks. And in this video, I'll show you the approach that I've come up with to keeping a daily journal inside of my TickTick system. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so I'm jumping in here to TickTick now. And one of the things I would do if I was creating a daily journal is I would create a new list and I would call this list daily journal. And for the type, I would change the type from task list to note list since I would want all of my daily journal entries to be notes rather than tasks. And so by setting the type to note list, any new item added to this list will be a note by default rather than a task. I'm going to click the save button. So now I have a daily journal list. And to add a new daily journal entry, I'll just come up here to add a new note to my list. And I'm going to title these somewhat specifically. I'm going to put the year first, then the month, and then the day. And that's all my title is going to be. Since this is a daily journal entry, I don't necessarily need anything else besides the day. Then I'm going to hit enter. And now I have my daily journal entry and I could write any notes I want in here. All right, so that's probably the simplest approach to having a daily journal entry. So one thing I might consider though, if I keep this practice up regularly for months and months, is I might break my lists up into months and have a daily journal folder. So let me show you that here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my daily journal list name uh, by clicking over here on the three dots, then going to the edit option. And I'm gonna change this daily journal to be March. And under the folder option, I'm gonna select new folder and I'm gonna make a daily journal folder now. And then I'm going to click the save button so now if you look over on the left side, I have a daily journal folder. Underneath the folder, I have March. Now if I'd been doing this a while, I might have a few more lists under my daily journal folder. So let's just throw a few more lists under there so we can see what it'll look like. I'm gonna make a February list. I'm gonna select the daily journal folder and I'm gonna select note list, save. And let's make one more, January. All right, so January would have all the January journals that I had done. February, obviously, the February journals that I had done. And now I'm on March, and March is going to have all of the March journal entries that I'm making. So while I was doing this, I just thought of an adjustment that I might make to this. And instead of calling the folder Daily Journal, I might come up here to the three dots, click the Edit option to change the name. And in front of Daily Journal, I'm going to put the year 2023-Daily Journal save. So that way, when it comes to the next year, I can just create a new folder called 2024 daily journal and put the months under that folder for the next year. So another option that we might do, you know, right now I have this note in here, my daily journal entry, and it's kind of just a free form. But let's say that perhaps I want to have a little more structure to my journal entries. And let's say, I'm just going to kind of make this up on the fly here, but I'm going to add I'm gonna come down here to my styles bar here. And I'm gonna add a header and I'm gonna use heading two. And I'm gonna call this daily gratitude. And I'm gonna add another header and I'm gonna call this small things that brought joy. And I'm gonna add one more header here. And I'm gonna call this one challenges today. And so now I have three different sections in my journal. And so what I might do if I like this sort of layout for my daily journal is I might come down here to the more menu and select save as template. And I'm going to call this template daily journal. So this will be my daily journal template. 
and I'm going to click the Save button. So now, for today, I might go ahead and fill this out. So all of the traffic. Okay, so let's say that this daily journal entry is completed, and I'm going to move on to the next daily journal entry, which will be tomorrow. You know, so tomorrow I'll come over here, I'll open up my March list, and I'll type in my date. I'm going to hit the Enter button. And from here, you can see before you type anything, Tick Tick has a little bit of gray text here. It says write down your ideas or add from a template. So you can actually click this add from a template. And it'll bring up your different templates. My daily journal template is the first one here. So I'll just click on that. And now I have my layout ready to go for the next day. So each day I'll just come in here to my daily journal list, create a new note with today's date. Say I want to use a template and I'll select my daily journal template and I'll fill it out each day. And when this month is complete, I'll start a new list for the next month. And when this year of 2023 is complete, I'll start a new folder for 2024. And so this is just one way to kind of organize a daily journal within TickTick. You know, a lot of people like to use TickTick for a lot of different things. Some people try to use TickTick for everything. So if you happen to be one of those people that keeps everything in TickTick and you keep a daily journal, well, this approach might work for you, but let me know in the comments. Do you keep a daily journal? Do you keep it within Tick Tick? And if so, how does your approach differ from what I've shown today? Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.